kwa la kifo kwa la Yo fa ya mo sa sa mo Awale mo fa se poko fa popo peko ese la kuli ol masi Yo ma malo o ma kosi la ki ma ma fa ki E a fo ma le o ma le fi ki Se yo pa ya fili mo pole ku Le ma ka wi lo ai malo O ki fa pe a kwai Kulo 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 malo Kulo lo ku Kulolo kau kala, biar salah semangana, ona bela malap belo mikama. Afi fio maya, maliu maya, susu maya, kala maya aw. Walau makam fa ngau oleh ayat kewis, lea la fa fio fio, la makau kau fa fa kimo sin kala pupu, ya koi fukuai malama, makau kongi moy moy fu, awak pulang lalu bau, usila ya lau sil silo, malam mai mo. Say of your fear, so if you may your man will. to New Zealand. It highlights the struggles and sacrifices they make for their future. This is our story of intergenerational disconnect. Kalau ngomong mas, saya mai pakai novio yang usil. Mai orang, saya ngalui ngai. Suai saya sepso soang yang kaku aing. Masuai fuai masuk lulu mengai. Ela lele ali dad, awal le ngai fama ngiang. Saya mak kalau ngopi mai orang, fuai asik kau ngomau. Oleh. After a discussion between Rosa and her father, Rosa speaks with Ioanne on the possibility of moving to New Zealand to work. <coughs> After some thought, they decided that they would leave their home and search for a better future and opportunity in New Zealand. Later that week, they were confirmed to leave and headed to the airport. Boarding for flight New Zealand 221 for Auckland has now opened. We ask that passengers seated from rows 1 through to 15 please come up first. Dad, 
Ole o fala a ma o e po lo le vale le. So, 
Ola utatalo Ola ufa na ui a mau ale poto Fusi a tuita Fusi o lima Manatua mai lo ainga My name is Jacob. I'll be your supervisor for today. Welcome to our factory. So today's your first day. shown around the factory, it is evident that communication is an issue. The culture and environment is not familiar to them, and the challenges they face within integrating into New Zealand is very clear. Yangi. Rosa and Yohane adapt whilst continually growing in this new environment. And as time progresses, so does their English. They slowly adjust to the language and culture. A lot of challenges during their journey in New Zealand. They work 12 hour days, six days a week, just to support family back home, but also so they can create a better opportunity for themselves. What is evident is their loving and hardworking nature. Rosa and Yoane decide to start a family and give birth to a boy. They have named him after Rosa's father, Garvika Jr. Garvika Jr. is a first generation New Zealand born Samoan. Yes, son. That's when uh, Dad and I were before for our youth. Hey, so you used to dance? 
Eoi, asa laile e mawe sesi le siwa lokinga. No one could dance like your mum. Stop lying, mum. You're probably stiff like that. See, watch. What are you up to? Jack, scream me some lunch here. I'm so hungry. Yogurts? Oh, Shelly, I just got to school, eh? Hey? You just got to school? Yo. Sully, look at the time. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, yo. Oh, Sully, you going poly practice? No, it's probably going to do it, eh? Oh, what is that? Show me oh, this house. Now, you know I'm going to be. And I'm plastic anyways. Oh, oh just, just come try it out. You might like it. Is it on now? Yo, it's on now, bro. We're going to do all the seafoods and stuff. We look pretty gangster. Ah, oh, we'll see, we'll see. 
I just don't feel like I belong there. Oh, don't be like that, Luz. Well, what are you up to after school then? Surely James and Warzone with me. Oh, no, nah, so that I can't. I've got church and then work straight after. Oh, but uh, I'll catch you later for rugby training in the morning. Seki? Jale! Stand up, I know to be the means well. Do I really belong? Although I am someone, I don't even feel someone. I can't even speak it, nor can I understand it. People always make fun of me for being plastic. Even my own people make fun of me. My own people. I've tried to connect, but I just get mocked. It just degrades my sense of belonging, belonging even more. I feel a sense of disconnect from my own identity, constantly thinking whether or not I do belong. I don't know why. Why can't they just accept me for who I am? I just want to belong. Son, I found a little pepper. Find a pile of Oh, Mum, can I wear this, please? Oh, the girls wear this. Sir, just wear it. Oh, no, Mum. Stop it. Stop answering back. Look what I look what's looking. Here we go again. I said, Man, I'll find a pile of pepper. Boom, I'm going to look what. Just shut your mouth. The door is the toe. Hurry up. You're running late. Sonny, how long do we go? Bro, it's like last song now, eh? Stay forever, eh? Oh. I'm getting hungry. Oh. 
hard saying. Song song going right here. It's the last song now. It's your chicken. Sully, your parents don't look too happy, eh? Yo, Sully, they gave me an A4 on the way here, dude. Uh, Try to give me the way that ballet thing. <laughs> yeah, that's for girls. Yeah, I know, that's what I was trying to tell them. It's so extra, eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're good. I'll, I'll shoot off now. Oh, yeah, Catch you tomorrow at school. Yo, see you tomorrow. Yo, bye, folks. <coughs> Kaviko, why were you on your phone during church? If I saw him there, yeah? I've told you many times to listen. Why can't you be like your cousin, Xavier? Ah, oh, that's the little Scott. Yeah, I was just tired from rugby yesterday. And what's up with you and Xavier? You know he's just as bad. Go kick your ass, go mala mo ifa. Bye. Hello. Who called us? Yeah, yeah, but. Ah, say Kimo. Say I don't know what to do with you. For this oh, you know for this girl. That's the premium. I don't get it, kind of. Oh, miss, look, I think I'm late again. Junior, why are you late to my class? Oh, sorry, miss. I missed the bus, eh? Hurry up and sit down, please. Oh, you're a snitch, eh? Uh, What's up, excuse boss? me. First you come in late, now you're straightening other class members. I don't need you to sit down. Sit down, please. Sit down, please. Tony, oh. what are you doing today? Oh, Remember the home? Let's get that out of here, please. Junior, are you sleeping in my class? Hey, Miss, I wasn't sleeping in your class. 
Oh, just, oh, just showing up late because it's weekends and all that. Well, I'm sorry, but it's not good enough. You've got an after-school detention, and I'm going to be calling home. Oh, Miss, are you serious? I am serious. You suck. See you after school. Hello, <laughs> My teachers don't understand my life right now. I'm so stressed out. I have poly, rugby, church, work, and then school. I just can't seem to catch a break anywhere. My mom and dad are always yelling at me at, at home and at church. And I get to school, and then my teachers have the same go at me as well. I'm always a problem. I'm always the problem. I'll just, I'll just never be good enough. No matter how hard I try. Hello, Fai. Tell me your call. Hi, Rosa. We'll need to run a few scans and tests to know what's really going on. And then from there, we can talk about what steps to take next. Receiving the results, Rosa discovers that she is terminally ill, filled with confusion and emotion. Rosa and Ioane head home to break the devastating news to Kavika that his mother has limited time. As they arrive home, they receive a call. Hello? Hello, is this Rosa? Yes, this is me. Hi, this is Miss Gimlet from Christchurch Boys High School. I'm just calling regarding Junior. He's been coming in late, disrupting other class members and falling asleep in class. Can you please have a chat to him about this? Yes, uh, I'll talk to him when he gets home. Thank you for your call. No problem, have a good day. Bye. <sighs> as if today could get any worse, I don't know what to do with you. Send you to school for a better future. I'll have a spare phone. Just chill out. What's that for today? Hey, I will. I can't let you look at your finger when I... You must be able to do it. We moved to New Zealand for a better future. We work so hard. Yeah, you go to school late. To swap class. Sleep in class. Dad, it's not even like that. I just had a bad day. Can you leave me alone? You have to answer back every time it's... Why are you so pissed for? Shut up! You don't know what you can do, so you can be way wrong. Why can't you be like Xavier, huh? It's always been Xavier. You always keep comparing me to him. I'm your son, not him. You just pay some attention to me one time in your life, please. Yeah, just forget it. I hate talking to you. You're a waste of time. You just don't understand what I go through. Kill off. Kill off. Russell. 
I don't know what to do. I'm tired, Yoangi. We're all in a box. Hey, no, no, no. The king of England, my God, my God. He doesn't understand what we have to do. So he can be where he is right now. Don't be like that, Yoangi. I'll wake up and bang up. I can lay low for if I feel cold, you're long. Mother Malala, come on. He's right. We don't know what he's going through. I lay low, I lay low, I can't. The camera, I'm going to make you look all over. Say, okay, who's your guy? I'm going to make you look all over. Five, my father, I'm going to say, say, I'm sorry. I'm going to make you look all over. Ale lila, fai mo fi, ai le mo fai nga alu nao. La pa ye nga alu yao ni. Say I gotta work and stop. Come back home and stop. Back then, I had to walk with no shoes to school, no food, nothing. You know, I think he is right. We should adopt Xavier. Go away! <laughs> Just leave it. Ma le aku ama ki fufu ino fa fi kauli, ma ki ma alo mo fu malala kama. God is the only answer to all our struggles we face. Fa yeska lo ku. Ota Emoni, emuli muli maya se ale angre leo leo lo fa ya so mbolo uola. Oti na fufu ele fa leo yova ya se tila. Tato e fu mata. Le tuo pa ya. Le tuo mama lo. Tu ma ya na malo si mala. Tuli vai mato, tuli yau luma au au na mato tuma. Awa se angang faftai. Ono lo alofa malo angale ya te mato. Peter, ula inga nei le ato to yau luma. Yelofa fa mangale ya te mato. Fa ma fa fa na le ato linei. Avesel mai mai le niti na.
Nobody knows what I'm going through. Trying to chase this dream in sports, to give back to my parents. Can't they just see that I'm doing my best? Everything I do is for them. All we wish is to make our parents proud. It just feels like I'm stuck in between two worlds. Between, and then trying to seek my parents' validation at the same time. And I just wish, I wish they could just understand. Understand my insecurities, insecurities, my own struggles, my own battles I face with every day. I know they made the sacrifices to get me here. And this is why I do this for them. But just because they had their battles doesn't mean I'm facing mine. I've got my own battles that I face with every day. And it just sucks. It just sucks. And you give your all out of a good place and you just get knocked down all the time. I just want them to be proud of me. That's all. Son? Are you okay? Not really, Mom. You and Dad? That's always so hard on me. Gabiko, we're only tough on you because we love you. Your father and I left our families so that we can build a future for our kids and family back home. We struggled when we arrived. We knew minimal English. We only had each other. But Mom, I have struggles too. I know you had yours, but, and, and I know they're different, but it doesn't mean mine are any less important. I heard you and Dad. You said you want to adopt the Xavier, eh? <laughs> you know, I just wish you could just love me. Love me, not him. I know, son. If I may, I look a mile away. Make lole lay a little ammo, Xavier. But know that we love you. Gaviko, I was supposed to tell you prior to getting the call from, your, from school. Ele kukusolo malosi. I don't have much time left after seeing the doctor. But know that I love you. What? Wait, Mom, you just don't tell me that's real. I, my, life, my life isn't a mess right now. I, I've got all these things going on in my life. I, you can't just leave me like this. Mom, I, I don't yeah, know what I'd do without you. I, I don't know what I'd do without you. That's life, son. Bow while you're long Always remember God's love. Remember these words my grandfather, your grandfather said to me. Never forget humble beginnings. I love you, son. I'm so sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry to go through this. So sorry for the way I yelled at you back there. Hey, you were dead. That was unfair. I love you, Mom. I promise to make you and Dad proud one day. Okay? Come on, it's getting late. I think we just need a, need a rest. No
Kosica ma fanga va e vai le na le fa na O le a se tu ma se ama O le ta ta mli il to si la si la Ma lu a ve fali E poto le ta ta ai le a to ai ai le li o lo na sa This is a story on challenges that we face as young proud pacifica people the story acknowledges the sacrifice made by our parents and families. It also showcases real intergenerational disconnect and how it affects us. Although times get tough, God's love and grace will always prevail. We honor our families and parents tonight with this last song. It acknowledges the sacrifices of our grandparents, parents, and family who have passed on that has allowed us to be in the position we are in today. Tonight, we thank you for your love and support. We hope we made you all proud tonight.